Whether you're planning for a family now or in the future, being informed about your fertility can empower you to make the best choices for your body and your life. And here to tell us more is Dr. Michael Strug from Pacific Fertility Center. Thank you, Dr. Strug, for being with us today. Thanks for having me. This is such an important topic that I'm happy that more people are speaking out about and we're getting more information out there. Um, and Dr. Strzok, data is showing that women are waiting to have their first child a little bit later in life. So what age should women have on their radar to understand the effects of fertility? So typically, the important thing to know about the effect of age on fertility is that women are born with ovaries that do not produce more eggs. So you have all of the eggs that you'll ever have. And so typically the decline in these numbers of eggs will occur at a more rapid pace starting in your mid thirties and in your early forties. So that tends to be the time frame that we look at it as far as age starting to play an important role in fertility. And what is happening mid thirties and early forties? What are the things that women need to know about in regards to their health and the fertility specifically at that age? Yes, yeah, so typically we see a decline in the number of eggs that that you have within your ovaries and also you start to see a decline in the quality of the eggs. And when I say quality, I'm mostly referring to the genetics. There's a higher likelihood of having genetic imbalances in the embryos that are created from those eggs, which can increase the risk for fertility issues or even for miscarriage. Yeah, and speaking of miscarriage, you know, why is there that increased risk uh, of miscarriage in women over the age of 35? So miscarriages are devastating for all parties involved and un unfortunately more common than people realize. Approximately one in 10 pregnancies will result in a miscarriage and that will actually change with one's age. So at around the age of 35, the risk for miscarriage is about 20%. At the age of 40, it's about 40%. And at 45, it's around 80%. And this mostly has to do with that rise in the, in the imbalances in genetics that can contribute to miscarriages. So when should women seek help for fertility challenges? So, we typically say over the age of 35, you should see a fertility specialist like myself after about six months of trying because there are personalized evaluations that we can do to look for other potential causes of, of infertility outside of just age being a factor. And we're able to offer treatments that are potentially able to bypass the effects of age. It's good to know that you are able to help um, women who are in this age range and are looking for, um, you know, starting a family and looking for their options. So what options do women have who are over 35? So if a patient potentially is having miscarriages or infertility, we sometimes will consider technologies like IVF where we're able to actually screen embryos looking for those genetic imbalances that may contribute to infertility or miscarriage. For patients who have lower egg supplies and that's a potential cause for infertility, we even will consider things like egg donors because typically the uterus doesn't age at the same rate as the ovaries do. And so if someone does not have eggs to be able to generate their a pregnancy from their own eggs, oftentimes they'll consider using the egg donor. What is the number one message if you had to share for anyone that um, you know is waiting to have kids a little bit later? What is something that they need to keep in mind? So I think society has really great options for preventing pregnancy and really good reliable birth control. But I think we could do a little bit better in spreading the word about things like fertility preservation where patients can freeze embryos or even eggs to be able to use in the future as sort of a backup plan uh, because time can pass rapidly. And so many folks are choosing to focus on their careers and things like that. And so freezing eggs or embryos is an option for the future. And many employers, especially in the Bay Area, will actually cover this treatment. Thank you for that. And for anyone that wants more information or to schedule with you guys to seek out their options, where should they do that? They can check us out on pacificfertilitycenter.com or check us out on Instagram. Perfect. Thank you so much, doctor. Thank you for having me.
If you want to learn more, you can visit PacificFacilityCenter.com, and we'll also have a link on our website as well. Head on over to liveinthebay.tv.